Hi everyone, I'm Any New Province, and this week we're playing Mono Green Infect for Net Benefits, the series where we explore the benefits of net decking in Popper. If you ask longtime Popper players about Infect, they'll usually hearken back to a time when Invigorate was legal and Infect was a true menace on the format. If you're like me and you weren't playing when Invigorate was legal in Popper, then your last memory of it might be when Numot the Nummy lost to a very fast start to another Popper Infect deck. Since then, I haven't really been planning on running into Mono Green Infect. That is until last week I saw that Victor D. Mon finished a Popper League 5 0 with this Mono Green Infect. Infect list. I'll start by explaining the Infect mechanic. Creatures that have the Infect ability deal damage to other creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. The coolest thing about Infect, however, is that they deal damage to players in the form of poison counters, and once your opponent has 10 poison counters, they lose the game. First, I'm going to break down the creatures we plan on sneaking through with to deal those 10 points of poison damage. We're running lots of creatures so that we can interact with our opponent's removal. We usually only have to get through with one to win the game. First we have Glistener Elf, which costs 1 green for a 1-1 one, one with Infect. It's amazing to have a 1-drop Infect creature because this deck can win as early as turn 2. Next we have Ickerclaw Mirror, which is really cool because it comes with a pump spell effect stapled on. Ickerclaw Mirror costs 2 generic mana for a 1-1 one, one with Infect, and whenever it becomes blocked it gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn, meaning it might get big enough that we don't have to spend any extra pump spells on it to win the game. We're also running Blight Mamba, which costs 1 and a green for a 1-1 one, one with Infect. The best part about Blight Mamba is that it has a 1 and a green regenerate ability. This is awesome if your opponent is using a ton of targeted removal that would destroy a creature. Our Blight Mamba doesn't even care. Our last Infect creature is Rot Wolf. It costs 2 and a green for a 2-2 with Infect, and whenever a creature dealt damage by Rot Wolf dies this turn, you may draw a card. I think Rot Wolf is in this deck to help hedge against those grindy matchups. If you trade Rot Wolf off in combat, at least it replaces itself. However, my brain is going directly to building a crazy deck with like Rot Wolf and Viridian Longbow or something. That would be sweet. We're not taking our time dealing 10 damage to our opponent with Infect creatures, so we're running a ton of pump spells. The first pump spell package I'm I'm going to go over are pump spells that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. First we have Rancor, which costs 1 green for an aura that gives enchanted creature plus 2 plus 0 and trample, but the best part about Rancor is that when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you get to return it to your hand. Rancor does a ton of things for this deck. We don't really care which of our creatures are getting in for infect damage, so every time our opponent kills the creature with Rancor on it, we can just put it on another one. Also, trample is super relevant. We can make our creatures enormous so that they can trample through for those last points of lethal poison. Next is Lanawar Augur, which costs 1 green for an 0-3 that you can sacrifice to give target creature plus 3 plus 3 and trample until end of turn. Unfortunately, you can only activate its sacrifice ability during your upkeep. Another one of the permanents we're running that acts as a pump spell is Seal of Strength. It costs 1 green for an enchantment that you can sacrifice to give target creature plus 3 plus 3 until end of turn. Seal of Strength is less restrictive than Lanawar Augur, but it doesn't also give the creature trample. Still, I'm really excited to play with these two cards. I feel like you have to calculate very specifically when you're going to go off and combo kill your opponent with poison counters. Our last pump spell that sticks around is Hunger of the Howl Pack. It costs 1 green for an instant and puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature. The thing that pushes Hunger of the Howl Pack over the top, however, is its morbid ability, which says you get to put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on the creature that Hunger of the Howl Pack targets instead if a creature died this turn. Our next package is full of instant speed pump spells that we're going to use in combat to try to get our opponent as early as turn 2. First, we have Groundswell, which costs 1 green for an instant that gives target creature plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn, but it also has the landfall ability, which means if you had a land enter the battle field under your control this turn, that creature gets plus 4 plus 4 instead until end of turn. Groundswell is a massive pump spell for only 1 mana, but this next spell does it as well, even if you didn't have a land enter the battlefield this turn. This is Vines of Vastwood, which costs 1 green for an instant with Kicker Green, which means you may pay an additional green as you cast Vines of Vastwood. Vines makes it so that target creature can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control this turn. Not Hexproof, and that's important because it means you can cast Vines of Vastwood on your opponent's creatures to 
to falter their own pump spells or auras. If the Hexproof-like ability wasn't enough, Vines of Vastwood also gives the creature plus 4 plus 4 until end of turn if you pay that 1 green mana kicker cost. Our last pump spell might not be as potent as the others, but it's a lot less expensive. This is Mutagenic Growth, which costs 1 green Phyrexian mana, which means you can pay green mana or pay 2 life for this spell. It gives target creature plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn out of nowhere, sometimes faltering one of your opponent's lightning bolts and other times getting in for lethal when your opponent least expected it. Our last non-pump and non-infect creature spells are a little bit of utility that we can pay very little mana for. First we have Apostle's Blessing, which costs 1 generic mana and 1 white Phyrexian mana. If you look at the mana base, we have no way to make white mana, so we're always paying 2 life for this instant. It gives target artifact or creature you control protection from artifacts or the color of your choice until end of turn. This can give our creatures some kind of pseudo-unblockable ability and also falter one of our opponent's colored removal spells. Our last non-land card is Gataxian Probe. It costs 1 blue Phyrexian mana. Again, we can't produce blue in this this deck so we're always paying two life for this one. Gitaxian Probe lets you look at target player's hand and draw a card. This does a couple of things. By looking at your opponent's hand, you may know whether or not it's safe for you to combo off on a single turn. Also, Gitaxian Probe is just sort of air in the deck. You can pay another two life and look at the top card of your library. It could be a lethal pump spell. All right, let's have a look at this mana base. First, we have a single copy of Tranquil Thicket, your green cycling land, which means if it's in your hand and you don't need it, you can pay green and discard it and draw a new card. We're also running two copies of Colony Garden, which enter the battlefield tapped. When they're untapped, you can tap them for green mana, but most importantly, when they enter the battlefield, they create a 0-1 green plant creature token to eat up your opponent's edicts. For basics, we have 15 basic forests, lots of untapped basic mana to hit our turn 1 Glistener Elves, hit another untapped land on turn 2, and then win with the rest of our hand. Alright, let's have a look at this sideboard. First, we've got 4 copies of Gutshot for picking off all of those spell stutter sprites, Elves, and inside out Tireless Tribes. We have 3 copies of nature's claims which let us blow up affinities four fours they gain a little bit of life but who cares we're going to kill them with poison counters we've got a couple copies of relic of progenitus for nuking our opponent's graveyard maybe taking out a critical chainer's edict in the process we have a copy of reverence silence for blowing up all of the auras on a heroic creature or a boggle we have one copy of fog because who expects a, an infected aggressive deck to play fog we have two epic confrontations for killing another aggro deck's creature while pumping our infect creature in the process and we have two copies of vitality charm which create a 1-1 green insect creature token or give target creature plus one plus one and trample until end of turn or regenerate a target beast that's a ton of stuff on one card and there you have it mono green infect by victor demon congratulations again on your 5-0 finish in the popper league victor we're gonna take this deck into a league of our own at twitch.tv slash any new province we're there every monday night playing competitive popper decks before i go i just want to remind you that you can like the video or subscribe to the channel down below i I'd seriously appreciate it. It's a great way to let me know you've enjoyed everything, and it really encourages me to keep making great popper content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deck tech, and hopefully I'll see you on Monday night.